Hello everyone. Welcome to my eighth lecture, uh, where I'll be I'll be discussing about uh, the most important topic in Excel, which is the Excel functions. After knowing the Excel functions, Excel becomes so easy and so wonderful that you people uh, start enjoying the work because it makes our work easier. So let's dive into Excel formulas with with great motivation, great zeal. Okay, I'll just share my screen. So uh, this is this is the basic formula that we'll be studying uh, in the in the Excel uh, in the Excel sheet uh, in the X in the Microsoft Excel. There are a lot of lot of other functions as well, but for now we'll be studying only the basic one uh, in this lecture. We'll be studying sum, average, count numbers, maximum, minimum. These are the basic formulas and the most important one because uh, you use it on a daily basis, be it a corporate world, be it a personal world, uh, like you, you maintain something, you do the sum, you, you do it on a daily, daily basis, okay? I'll go, um, I'll go in first the long way of doing this and then the shortcut ways of doing this. Say, for example, I want to uh, calculate uh, the total for uh, th this is this is my monthly bill analysis, room rent, electricity bill, telephone bill, uh, and then I have the TV recharge, food, transportation, savings. Uh, now, uh, I, I want to find how many uh, how much I have invested uh, in the in the month of June in the month of June. How how I do this simple mathematics put n is equals to go over here, then plus this plus, this plus, this, 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 and press enter. We get the data. But imagine a situation, um, first, first do this. And if you want to calculate the, uh, if you want to calculate the average, how you will calculate this, this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus plus. And how many numbers are here? Two to four to six plus one seven divided by seven, you will get the average. This is the common mathematics that we do. For count, we'll be counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. For the maximum number, we'll go and see. Okay, what is the maximum? Ten thousand is the maximum. For the minimum, which is the minimum value? Three ninety four looks to me the minimum value. But this was easy because the data set is pretty short. What if the data contains uh, thousands of rows? How you do then, right? So let's learn that ways as well. Okay, I'll just uh, let let let's not delete this. Let's use the formula over here. What I'll do for any function, any formula in the Excel starts after is equals to is equals to sum. Oh, it comes over here. So Excel suggests us, right? Either you click on this or you click tab. I'll click tab, right? Now it says number one, comma, number two. These are the arguments, like number one, comma, number two, comma, number three. So instead of doing this, I can select a range or, or, let's, or let's do this way. Uh, number one, comma, number two, right? Sum, what is the number one? Comma, number two, comma, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven. Then I'll close the brackets. I get the data. This is one way, right? I need to calculate the average again. Number one, comma number two, comma number three, four, uh, uh, oh, number three, four, five, six, seven. This is another way, right? Okay. Now count. This is the function. Again, value one, comma value two, comma value three, comma value four, comma value five, value six this one and done okay again max this is the function i'll click tab again number one comma number two number three number four number five six seven done for minimum again press tab comma number one two three four five six and seven this was the other way now let's do now let's do the, the other way around. Let's use the formula sum and let's select this range, right? Close the brackets, oops, so easy. For average, oops, 
the formula a a a v e r oh, oh sorry a v e r a g e average select the range do 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 select the range yeah this is done for count again select the range this is done for maximum do 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 this is done too for minimum and here it goes so easy right now now for this for this one as well we will have to repeat the same formula but i won't do that i'll just copy this and we'll paste it over here right you don't need to worry about uh, about the these triangles i'll i'll explain it why this comes okay so either i'll copy it or i'll just select this and we'll come over here and do control r right so this comes now you can check it over here in the formula bar right e4 to e10 this is e4 to e10 correct this is again e4 to e10 correct this is again e4 to e10 so these are correct right whatever way you want you can just apply the formula i want these sums i have got these sums now i have right so this is the sum formula average formula count what what is the what was the, what, what was the easiest way obviously at this at this moment is equals to sum and then selecting the range you find you must have found the easiest one right now if you see there there is an error right it's, there is a triangle comes right a green triangle if you click over here formula omits adjacent cells update formula to include cells help on this error if you click over here e4 to e10 it seems correct but why the why why the excel says why the excel gives a triangle green triangle over here this is because this is because if you see this range and see this this over here it's a date so excel just thinks why this particular cell was not included which is the reason why it shows a green triangle if i click on update formula to include cell oops 68345 and what it has included e3 as well if you just see i'll i'll just maximize this give me a moment can you see this e3 i'll just show e3 to e10 right so it has included this but we do not want this right i don't want e3 to be included because this is incorrect right so what i'll do i'll do the control z control z yeah what i'll do i'll select all of them we'll go over here click on ignore error this is it because my data is correct i am i am 100% sure that the data is correct so why to worry just go and ignore the errors so we have done the sum formula average formula count numbers maximum minimum right we have we have learned it a very various way this was one of the ways this was the other way this was again the other way this was the same way right i'll just copy and paste this one over this right again the error comes just select ignore error that's it done right so we have learned sum average count numbers maximum minimum why why i have made you aware about the long process because to understand what the shortcut how does the shortcut process looks like i'll tell you another shortcut way of doing this more shorter than this but in the next lecture and that is for auto sum we'll discuss the auto sum in the next lecture so stay tuned and please do not forget to subscribe and like this video thank you so much bye bye have a great day